to the outside to complete the line. They are at the post. And they are racing. Moon launch much closer to the pace with an alert beginning. Crosstown shootout jumped well. And Slippy, as expected to be forwardly placed as they leave the shoot and straight to the main course. And Slippy has made the point. Room to the inside for Reckless LJ. From between horses, there goes first deputy. Also within striking range early, dead along the inside, it's Samurai Saint. Up on the extreme outside, higher authority moves closer forth. Now running off to the inside, Taos is really headstrong and giving the bug boy all he wants there up the backside and right into a thicket of horses as they head into the far turn. The quarter, 23-1. and one. Up to the outside, the leader. It is a Crosstown Shootout. Now Slippy right there as well from between horses. First deputy. Higher authority is fourth. A headstrong Tau still racing in fifth. From the backfield, Ugly Duckling is underway. Full of run. Nowhere to go right now as the half mile is time 46 and two. It's still Slippy hard ridden to get to the front. First deputy to the outside here from downtown. Crosstown Shootout with a four wide blitz. Top of a home stretch and up on the extreme outside. Here comes a Taus who finally found racing room but from the inside, Slippy still fighting on. Ugly Duckling full of run. They're outside the 16th pole in Crosstown. Shootout has gained the lead. Down to the inside, still fighting on. It is first deputy to the wire. A photo finish. Taus to the inside may have got the better of the bobs. Crosstown Shootout was to the outside. A photo for win between Taus, the two, and the nine. Crosstown Shootout in 118 and two. He's in. They're at the post. And they are racing. Awkward beginning for Duveen. Broken a tangle and is absolutely last. Reaching out for the early lead, Ames, Mr. Flashing Speed, Dantrum, Farrell's Kit, and those three right across the course. Then comes Maxed Up. Tucking in from that outer uh, draw is Powerful Point as they race into the opening turn. A couple lengths further back, Mr. Slate still racing wide to the inside. Dual Fuel is next as they work around the opening turn. A couple lengths back to slow starting Duveen, who is about 10 lengths last as they head up the backside. The quarter was 24-1. and one. The leader, still Ames Mister, shows away a length and a half. Tugging along, Dantrum in second. Long shot maxed up, out in the clear from third. CFV Wicked Red advancing to the inside from fourth. Red Silks, it's powerful point, who moves a closer fifth. Out wide, it's Mr. Slade, who is next up the inside. Dual fuels full of run. He has nowhere to go. Covered up to the outside by Farrell's Kitten, still two. Back to Duveen as they pass the half-mile pole, and they make their entry into the far turn, still aiming at Ames Mister. Took him through the half in a control. 48 and 4. And Ames Mister still up top is in fact bumped the lead to three. CFV Wicked Red still racing in second. Mister Slate's been parked wide for much of the journey. Dantrum from between horses from the backfield. Here comes Dual Fuel. He was on the fence with nowhere to go. He's in the fourth path and closing in at the leader. But the leader's been left alone up top. Three quarters, 14 and one. And here they come as they lean into the lane. It's Ames Mister, but the whip's out. Dual Fuel within striking range to the outside. CFV Wicked Red from between horses. These three in the final. Florence Furlong. CFE Wicked Red shifting ground. Dual fuel to the outside. Still motoring along. Down to the wire. Dual fuel. Dual fuel is going to get up to win three parts of a lake. CFE Wicked Red was second. Pace setting Ames Mister faded to third. And powerful point was fourth in 140 and four. Especially you is in the line. They are at the post. And they are racing. Slow start for Annotation. A quick one for Mommy Bird and Granite Candy. These two sending on out. Escape Fun came away racing into third position. Advancing to the inside. Cup of classes forwardly placed. Deep on the courses, especially you, as they run up the backside. From between horses, Easy Silence is next. She's about two in front of Annotation with a backstretch brush. Dulcimer Dame is three in front of Unwanted Input. And the two back markers are Cruz and Tatum and Mama Lou. The quarter, 22-3. and three, And Granite Candy running off up top. She's built up a seven, maybe even eight-length lead as Escape Fun and Mommy Berta left in her wake back in second and third. Deep on the course, especially you, Narrows Bridge racing from between horses. Easy Silence, she's on the move, on the drop in class. She's raced up into fourth, still has 10 links to raise after a half mile, 45 and three. 
Granite Candy out there up top still shows the way by six with just outside three sixteenths of a mile to go. And Granite Candy will whip them in up to the outside. Easy Silence moves a closer second. Dulcimer Dame for the backfield. She's finishing with interest. One furlong to go. And Granite Candy still has a three-length lead, continuing to grind away and peck away at that lead. Dulcimer Dame and Dulcer to Dame has dead aim. Dulcimer Dame rolling by Granite Candy. Dulcimer Dame's going to win by a length and a half for Isaac and Miller. Pace heading Granite Candy was second. Running time, 118 and three. Dulcimer Dame unofficially. They're at the post. And they are racing. Good start for Midnight J.J. Brondo flashing speed up the fence. And from the hydraul, Hatch is trying to cross and clear. He'll be stretched though just a touch on the run in the first turn by Newtown. So into the first turn, three across the course, inside out. Brondo, Midnight J.J., three wide Newtown. Now Hatch has worked his way all the way to the rail from fourth as they work around the opening turn with six furlongs to go. Then we throw back a couple of links to uh, Tonica Springs, who is next. Order of the day advancing to the outside of horses as they head up the backside. The quarter is 24 seconds flat. The leaders, Midnight, JJ, and Brondo, they're locked in battle. They've clicked about four links in front of Newtown from third. Hatch perfectly placed from fourth as they continue to run up the backside. Then comes the trio of Tonkawa Springs, Overthought, and Storm Attack. Still nine or ten back to Sergeant Barger, a link back to Schenectady Star as they continue to run up the backside with just about three and a half furlongs to go and out at the back of the pack it's post-war on debut half mile 47 and four Brondo still doing battle with Midnight JJ and it looked like Hatch is going to get the perfect setup here from third Tonkawa Springs is within striking range from fourth. He's raced up to the inside. Has nowhere to go this point. He's going to have to be on hold for a second. Sergeant Barger running off from the backfield at a huge number as they race around the turn to the top of the home stretch. Three wide. Here comes Hatch up the inside. Brondo from between horses still fighting on. Midnight JJ to Colin Springs is going to have to angle to the outside of Hatch as they're in the stretch drive with a furlong to go. And Hatch, the son of Fort Larned, has the lead with a 60 to go. Tonkawa Springs is loose, but he got loose maybe too late because Hatch is driving on a two now three length lead. Hatch is going to break maiden on the wrong lead but nonetheless wins by two and a half lengths. Tonkawa Springs was second. Running time for the winner 140 and one. Liz Colvin going into the outside. They are at the post and they are Racing, sluggish start for Byzantine. Quick beginning, though, from the middle for Storm Kiss. Also flashing speed towards her outside is always connected. Jack Warrior came over racing in the third position right up to her outside as they head up the backside. Deep on the course is Liskolvin. From between horses, a Crispy Rice is next. Still three or four links back to Dalton's Love down to the inside. From between horses, My Lily May is next as they continue to run up the backside. Then it's Cubon. Still three links back to Byzantine. The quarter, 22 and 3. Storm Kiss, the leader. She leads by three lengths. Jag Warrior racing in second, covered up to the outside by Vaccine of Hope. Still two links for the back two, always connected, who rides the rail from fourth as they continue to race around the turn, aiming at Storm Kiss. Storm Kiss and a uh, competent Jeffrey Sanchez show the way. Here's her stablemate, Vaccine of Hope, from second. As they race around the turn, from the middle, always connected is third. And my Lily Mays underway from the backfield. She's in the parking lot, though, top of the home stretch. And Storm Kiss will whip them in. Storm Kiss by the... 3 16th pull in front by two. My Lily May to the outside. She's wondering about the course with 1 16th to go. Storm Kiss threatening to go coast to coast, and Storm Kiss will do it. Storm Kiss wins by two lengths. Constitution Gal ran on to be second, and My Lily May, despite racing greenly, ran third in 118 flat. And they are racing. Good beginning for Jazz Brunch. Also love the power. Hide and seek Sally in first squadron. These all flashing speed up the backside. From between horses, hide and seek Sally to the outside first squadron. Love the power away in the third position. Seaport Storm is fourth. Hey, hey. We'll track him from fifth up the inside. That's the way to do it. Advancing early underneath that one. Then deep on the course, Helen May Song. She's about two or three in front of Magna G-Force. Then up on the extreme outside, there goes Radiant Rhythm. So a link for the back to uh, Jazz Brunch now and advancing uh, Smoking Hot Bobby. 
The quarter 22 and 1, the leader for Squadron. Whips out on Hide and Seek Sally. Love the power from the inside. Four deep goes uh, Helen May's song. That's the way to do it is next. From between horses, Hey Hey and Magna G Force move together. And on the three wide side, it is smoking hot Bobby Top at home stretch. And first squadron upset minded. Helen May song to the outside is a whip a man. And first squadron will turn first. She's in front by two. Helen May song on the attack to the outside. Down the center of the track. Here comes Hey Hey with a 16th left to go. And first squadron is trying to take them coast to coast. And first squadron will do it. She draws in off the also and reports home a two length winner. Helen May song was next. And it was Magna G Force Radiant Rhythm smoking hot Barbie in 111 and 3. And they are racing. Awkward beginning for Beam of Light. In fact, Beam of Light ended up losing jockey Joe Talamo at the start. He's up on his feet and appears to be okay. End of the first turn. My, my money comes to uh, tackle Paige Ann, and they used to duel out for the early lead. Three wide California Lily from between horses. Auntie Mabel at a tight spot. In fact, she just had to check, and she's back into the fourth position. Myria racing along in fifth early. Blood curling is towards her inside. Then a link for the back to Natalie's charm as they continue to run up the backside with five. Five and a half for longs to go. Then we trail back for about four lengths back to the two back markers at the back of the pack. And they're about 15 lengths off the lead. And that is Peter's Kitten and Natalie's Charm. Up the backside, 23 and 4 the time for the opening quarter. My, my money. And Paige Ann continue in lockstep, two and a half in front of Auntie Mabel from third. Then a link for the back. California Lily is fourth. She's about six off the pace, deep on the course. There goes Natalie's Charm. Meanwhile, Blood Curly just took up there, just checked, and she checked off heels, and she's about ten links off the lead and just got passed there by a closer from the backfield as they race around the turn, and that is La Turista. Half mile, 47 and 1. Paige Ann to the outside. My, my money to the inside from the backfield. Here comes Natalie's Charm. She's set to strike and full of run. Take a look at Natalie's Charm on the far turn with a three-wide blitz. She's up to the outside of long shot. My, my money. Myria to the outside fourth from the backfield. Running on. Here comes La Turista as they're in the final Florence for long. And Natalie's Charm up to take command. My, my money's back into second. Down the center comes Peter's Kitten as they're deep inside the final 16th. Put a ring around her. Natalie's Charm punched home by Malcolm. She won by about seven. Peter's Kitten got up in a photo there for second over Blood Curling and Myria. They're at the post. And they are racing. Quick beginning from the middle for Midnight Swap. Hard hustle to the front. Emperor's Gold is flashing speed underneath that one. The boss factor came away racing in the third position. Then about a length for the back down along the inside in fourth. That's Chavez deep on the course. It's Army Scout down on the inside. Down home Kitten is next. Just about six, six and a half lengths off those leaders as they have six furlongs to travel. And they straighten up for the back stretch journey. It is Emperor's Gold in Midnight Swap. The two pace set ears go about two and a half lengths in front of the boss factor who is third. Up on the outside, Army Scout moves to closer fourth. Chavez back into fifth. Then it comes Down Home Kitten, who's about a length in front of Comfort Me Now. So a link back to Crown the Gold. Kearney County is next. And Bobby Baby is last of them all. Up the backside they go. They pass the half mile. And uh, the quarter 24 and 1. The first half mile was 48 and 1. Midnight Swap shows the way. The boss factor is set to strike to the outside from second. Three deep comes Army Scout. From between horses, Chavez trying to go with that one. Emperor's Gold is next. From the backfield, starting to run on now. Comfort me now. On his back is Down Home Kitten as they continue to race around the turn. And Kearney County starts to heat up from the backfield as they have just outside 3 sixteenths to go. The boss factor, three quarters, 13 and three. And here they come to the top of home stretch. And the boss factor will whip them in. The boss factor in front by two. Chavez is under a full heavy drive there from second. Down the center, down home kitten. One furlong to go. The boss factor shake it up. Uh, here comes down home kitten and Chavez up after the leader. Down home kitten trying to get to the boss factor but the boss factor will give Julio Felix two on the card. Down home kitten was next in a three-way go between Chavez, Army Scout, Crown to the Gold, and another one there in 140 flat.